Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is another uh, Java video. Today I will be uh, showing you a bit more about <clears throat> another um, test uh, capability in Spring Boot 2. This is called the test rest uh, template. It allows us to do um, sort of um, integration tests um, fairly easily uh, and also in a declarative way using uh, dependency injection and annotations. So I did a very simple POC to show this uh, in action to you all. So um, let's uh, dive into it. So I have this POC here um, and uh, I want to show you guys how this uh, actually works. So <clears throat> I made some scripts. Um, it is like a book uh, service. So I have a script to add books, which basically does a REST call uh, to a post. And then um, it posts a JSON uh, body. And here you can see I am passing the name of the book and the author. So I creating principles by Hey Dalio, which is a good book, by the way. And then saying the header, a media type, content type to be application JSON. And then we hit slash book. Um, I have another script here uh, in order to get uh, all the books, uh, which I just do a get on the same uh, resource slash book. So let's uh, take a look on the code on idea and see how we can test this application using the test rest uh, template. So here, um, let's start uh, as always uh, with the dependencies. So here, as you can see, I'm using 241 um, as Spring Boot version. And um, although I'm running with Java 15, I actually compiling uh, to Java 8 um, in Maven. Um, here you can see the basics like uh, starter web, which will bring Tomcat to us, starter test, um, and then um, some configs to exclude old uh, JUnity. And pretty much it, uh, pretty standard um, dependency setup for Spring. Um, in sort of the now, uh, let's take a look on the application, right? So, uh, because we're going to be testing this application uh, with the test rest template. But first, the application structure, um, kind of a stroke, uh, standard structure or packages where I have my service folder with my services, my DAO, my DAO, my controller, and my model. Um, I'm going to start with the model. So for the model, I have a book uh, and a book has um, name and author, um, default uh, public empty constructor, um, full constructor. Um, you know, you can also create the book with just uh, a name of the book, getters and setters, equal hash code and uh, two strings. So pretty standard Bojo. Then if you look on the DAO, for this POC, I didn't use a database because I want to uh, focus on the testing part. So my, my DAO is just a component, it's not a repository. And I just have a concurrent hash map here. Um, and, uh, you know, there's two uh, operations as you might expect. There is a get all where you get a list of books. And then I just get the values uh, of my concurrent hash map here and I stream them and collect them into a list. And as you can see here, I am returning a copy of all my books. I'm not uh, returning the direct reference of the books itself. Um, so um, this is uh, a copy. So if you change or do anything with these books, will not be affected the ones that we have it here. Uh, and finally, I have another method to add a book where I receive a book object and I just put on a hash map and the name gonna be the key and the value gonna be the book itself, all right? So we have a concurrent hash map where the string uh, is the name of the book and the value is the book itself, the POJO for the book itself. So that's our DAO. Then uh, the service, we have a book service, is annotated as uh, at service. We auto wire and inject, we do injection by type 
and uh, this injection um, we, we want a book DAO and here we just do delegation pretty much so in order to get all the books we just call uh, the DAO get all in order to add a book we just um, you know delegate to the DAO we could be doing validations here like um, you know don't, don't send a book that's new or empty right but um, I just keep it simple um, then um, the controller so the controller is a rest controller and uh, you can see here by the annotation right and we auto wire inject a book service and uh, there's a silly index mapping just saying greetings uh, and then there's the two operations that you're expecting one is a get mapping and I'm using the response body annotation because I want to return a response entity and what I return gonna be a list of books right and uh, what I'm doing I just call the service the service is gonna call the DAO the DAO is gonna get from the concurrent hash mapping memory and then I basically just build a response entity of the list of the books I pass the books that I got and uh, HTTP status is gonna be 200 uh, in here there is a um, constant we can use HP status okay finally um, there is a part where we add the book so it's the same uh, mapping as you can see but this is a post mapping um, it's, it's not a get so you, you need to send a post call and then uh, we also have a response body uh, because we're gonna create the book and send that book back to you so we return a uh, response entity here as well but now it's not a list is a single uh, book and then for the um, the body uh, we have a request body and we just say book so here uh, there's a couple of uh, interesting things right so <clears throat> just to finish the method explanation here <clears throat> we call the service and uh, finally uh, we just return a response entity of a book with the book itself that was sent to us so we just send it back uh, in a status code uh, 200 and uh, what's cool here it is because this at uh, request body um, we don't need get strings and then transform that strings in object uh, spring will do that for us and also the same with the response entity so that's one um, you know one nice thing about uh, spring framework and their uh, web um, annotations so cool that's the controller so what about testing well we're gonna go to the testing here um, I also have the application class as you might expect it with uh, standard annotations right uh, but let's jump uh, to the testing part which is uh, the purpose of this video so first of all I create um, a configuration just for testing so I call this uh, test config and as you can see is annotated with uh, configuration and enable auto uh, configuration here I just have one bean which is my test rest template so I declare it uh, as a bean and I just return an instance of my test rest template and, and that's it um, now we can do injections and we can do proper testing right so if we go to the tests itself right so we have a couple of uh, interesting things here so first of all we annotate this with extends with and we use the spring extension right because we're gonna use um, the integration uh, that we have uh, in spring uh, and JUnity and uh, that's one thing the second thing here if you remember I show you like um, the bin definition for the test rest template so uh, we need to uh, let spring aware to use that configurations and I do that there is a couple of different ways to do that but in the way I did it is I use the context uh, configuration and then I just pass classes and if you want you always can pass uh, an array here if you prefer right but here I just have one so I'm not doing an array um, then I just pass the class here and finally uh, we need annotate this as a spring boot test because what Spring Boot we're gonna do is gonna boot up our application, right? So I need to say, okay, where is my application? So uh, I, I just point out my application class, right? And and if we go here, we see our Spring Boot application, right? So this test is gonna boot up our Spring application. And also uh, we need to say what sort of a web environment we're running. 
I'm asking for a random port. Uh, I could be a predefined port and say, oh, well, this test doesn't need REST, so I don't need a web environment, right? So I could say none. But here I want to have a random port. And then I need to know which random port is being picked. So we do injection with this annotation called local server port, right? And then we have an integral with the port. We're going to have sieve the injection uh, right here, right? And then uh, I can auto wire and I can get my instance of my test rest template. Keep in mind, we are using test rest template, not rest template, all right? Um, awesome. Then uh, we are done with our injections, then we can do tests. And I have a test to add book and to list of books. In order to add book, we create a book pojo. Um, uh, the book gonna be principles by Hey Dalio. And uh, then I'm gonna call to my test rest template and I'm gonna dot post for entity. And the URL we're gonna go is localhost, the random port that uh, gonna be injected here on line 26, and then slash book. And then I'm passing my parameter, which is a book. And the result I expect to be a book class, right? So we get the response entity of the book. And then we just print the result and we get the body. And we also uh, make sure that the book and the body are the same, right? Meaning uh, the book that I pass is exactly the same book that I got. Finally, we have the operation to list all the books. So um, here, uh, what happens is, um, first of all, I create a book, right? Um, so creating the same book, principles by Hey Dalio. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna go get for entity because we're gonna do a get. And then we hit localhost, uh, whatever random port we got, slash book. But now, uh, this is, will be a get, that's why it's get entity. And the other one was post entity, as you can see here, but this one is get. And then we say that we want to have a list. And this is gonna be a list of books. Then we get the response entity of that then we can print that and we can check if that's new or not. So now let's run this and see it in action. So I'm running. We're gonna see that this will boot up uh, a spring for us. Let uh, me make it a bit bigger. So yeah, the test passed. So as you can see here, we see spring booting up. Um, we see that uh, we have a hand on port. The port used was three uh, 7487 uh, we see using Spring Boot 241 um, and also this is uh, backed by Tomcat 9 um, and, and then here we see uh, the results of the tests we see uh, 200 which in regards to the book that we uh, inserted uh, we see another 200 uh, because if you remember the other test the first thing we do we also uh, inserted and finally we see here um, you know the list uh, of the books and uh, we also can um, look uh, for a specific uh, method here right uh, that also um, works so that's it as you can see uh, it's pretty easy to do uh, this sort of uh, rest um, integration tests with spring and uh, with test template and uh, in this way it also take care of the serialization for us and the binding so it's quite uh, handy and easy to use okay so that's it for today i hope you guys like it see you next time take care cheers